What's your guys' opinion on Ico and Shadow of the Colossus, and do you think The Last Guardian will ever be released? Uh, quick answer to the latter. Excuse me. Um, no, I don't think The Last Guardian's ever going to be released. I hope... They, the, they keep saying it will be, though. I hope the fuck it gets released. I just, at this point, even if it does, with all the delays, I don't know that I have any faith in it being a good game. Um, that said, Ico and Shadow of the Colossus were both fantastic. Uh, Ico more for its visual style at the time, I think. Um, it was a unique... A fairly unique, um, you know, puzzle game. You know, escape from the castle. You know, with uh, the um, with the, the the spirit, the lady, the uh, in, in tow. It's been a minute since I've played it. I'm sorry. Um, Shadow of the Colossus, on the other hand, I think is uh, definitely one of the best examples of um, imagination and just, I mean, insane huh. design coming out of nowhere. No one expected that game when it came out. Even the previews couldn't really prepare you for what that game was like. Um, I mean, a game that has, what, 16 enemies in total? Total. But they're these huge, monstrous behemoths that have platforms and armor that you grab onto and you swing. And the sense of scale was perfect. And, you know, you climb that first Colossus and you're on his back and you're at the point where you have to stab him in the head and you realize exactly how high up you are. That's I mean, the game doesn't fuck around. It's there is no loss of sense of scale here. I mean, it's nearly vertigo-inducing. Um, and that game just proceeded to get better and better and better from that point, from figuring out that you have to literally run up the blade of a Colossus's sword as it hits the ground to make it up his arm to get on him. I mean, it, yeah, I mean, Shadow of the Colossus is something that can't be topped because anything that tries to top it is simply going to be seen as a copycat or inferior. You can only do that game once. So, in terms of last Guardian news, I guess the last news was a couple months ago that they are Sony wants to register the trademark for it. <laughs> well, that's they, good. Well, so they want they want to renew it. They have to renew trademarks yes. every whatever it is three years or four years, whatever it is. Um, so they they have filed a patent for it. Would they have to do that if they weren't still going to come out with it? How long has this been in development? Two thousand nine was it? It Eight? was. It was announced when the P, when the P. No, I think it's been longer. I believe it was announced when the PS two was still semi relevant, and the PS three was just coming out because it was supposed to be one of the PlayStation 3's killer apps. Okay, I thought so. Was, I mean, I, this I, is. I was, been, I was thinking two thousand eight, two thousand nine. You, I mean, you could be right, like but I, I, like I said, I seem to remember the PS two. So there's never going to be a PS two. It was supposed to be a PS three. I do, I do. No, that. no, I know that. What I'm yeah. saying is though, like they were, they were working on. I mean, it way back. I, I go and 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 Shadow of the Colossus were out, and they were teasing this as being the third part in the series. Essentially, they're unrelated, but they're related. You know, in I, the, in terms of artistic vision. Um, so this was supposed to be the third entry it, in that. That, that trilogy and it was supposed to come out on the PS3 and now we're through the PS3 and we I mean we still haven't seen the it. irony of, of the, if this is going to come out it's not going to be a huge huge seller it'll sell but it's going to be still like a cult sort of thing it's not going to sell like Gods of War you know what I mean no I think maybe well I, I'll disagree with you there I think I think with all the build up behind it the fact that Ico and Shadow of the Colossus have entered the public conscious because of the the remasters. That public consciousness? Are we going a little bit no far? No, people buy that shit as soon as it comes into the store. Okay. Um, well, for, I'm, I'll, on I'm the not, PS3. I'm, not, I'm talking like this is not going to be like Metal Gear Solid. Not it, even close. If it comes out for PS4, I guarantee you it would sell like hotcakes to PS4 owners okay. hungry for exclusives. Oh, oh yeah, okay. If you're talking for exclusive, okay. That's a better point. That, yeah. If there's nothing else to be exclusive, this is a big one then for that. I mean, they have them, but I think this would be a bigger deal. But versus the amount of uh, time they're putting in development of this, if it's really been six, seven years... I hope it's. I mean, I hope it's only like two or three guys working in those six, seven years to, to you know, for their. <laughs> I'm not saying they're going to recoup their money. I'm just saying that I think it would sell better than you're saying. That's all. All I, all I think is funny that they haven't said it's dead. It's always been okay. It's back. Well, no, I believe they did officially kill it at one point and but then no. bring it back. But I could be wrong on that. I mean, it's this, still this, it's still around now. Yeah, that's the, what's important. <laughs> they they have a new they have a new trademark they filed for it. So for the last guardian, unless there's another last guardian game they're making. 